In June of 2017, the Alabama Prescribed Fire Council hosted a growing season prescribed fire learn and burn event in Macon so and Bullock counties. Out, I would estimate we'll probably be out of here say by nine o'clock, which is fine. You'll be to your burn unit 10 minutes or less. And uh, do your briefing, go with the burn plan, all of that general stuff. The burn bosses will have a list of things to do. And then uh, mainly try and have your burn wrapped up by 2.30 because we'd like you back here by 3. And everybody has a list of phone numbers. If you can't hit us on the radio, just call us on a cell phone. If you need water, fuel, whatever, we'll bring the lunches to you. When you leave out of here, you'll get your water and all of that. A lot of times when we burn, John and I will burn, we'll have two ATVs with 15 gallons a piece. You get into site prep, you're probably gonna to wanna to bring in another ATV and another 15 gallons. Having that many four wheelers on a burn, cause that's the number one safety issue in my mind. Like I've had more friends get hurt rolling a four wheeler. I've, I've thankfully never known anybody to get burnt real bad, but I've known half a dozen people to end up in the hospital cause they rolled a four wheeler, so. Um, be careful, Mr. Kent Hamby used to say that if you're in a hurry, you've already done something wrong. So if it gets to a situation where you feel like you need to go fast on a four-wheeler, just don't. Stay calm and get there when you can. The goal of the event was to help participants gain confidence in growing season prescribed fires. while burning conditions were moderated by the weather. Participants, both mentors and mentees, agreed that the event was an overall success. The day brought in over 60 participants, including six burn bosses and 11 mentors. And by late afternoon, over 400 acres had been burned safely, improving wildlife habitat and training a new group of forest stewards.